कैन यू हॉल हियर मी ऑडियो वीडियो ओके थैंक यू वेन वी से ओम शांति वर वी एबल टू स्टेबिलाईज द कॉन्शियसनेस ऑफ सोल to say om shanti takes couple of seconds to stabilize in the soul conscious awareness it may take longer than that but with regular practice it becomes possible to stabilize in that stage i know some of you are still joining in um yesterday when i did the roll call um and after that quite a few joined and um i sent out the email with the material content to those for those with uh, the roll call that i did and some of you i might have missed um so if, if you did not receive the email you can send me a, a private email id and i will send the material of both yesterday and today's session as well all right any questions from yesterday's just for couple of minutes anybody no i just have a om shanti i have one request this is sheila can you hear me yes can you put your name instead oh. of ipad sheila Sheila um, Okay where would you like to put my name I'm registered Yeah when I see your name here it says as iPad so if oh. you just see him when you click on that name oh, where is you know? that how do I do that I'm on an iPad so I don't know how to do that Anyway so, go ahead Okay, like I can where, put it where? on the chat if you like. Anyway, my concern was that I had uh, logged in a little later yesterday, so I missed, uh, and I don't have your email from uh, yesterday's um, discourse. And also wanted to thank you very much because I loved the way you did the meditation at the end. It was really, really peaceful, and it really helped me all the way through the night. So I'm really. Is there any way? that um can you can you share your video please sure sure there okay good can go you ahead see me yes. right okay yeah. so my concern was i really like the way you did um the meditation at the end it was really peaceful i really felt i can't describe what i felt during the meditation and afterwards so is there any way that we have this guided in your voice or something else that is offered from the you know your uh, group or wherever where we can do this when we are through with all these classes that we can continue to do this yeah so that same voice and you know the peaceful the way you instruct it was just beautiful thank you so did you receive the email yesterday with the material handouts No, I didn't. I received the first day, but not yesterday. Okay. If you can, so, if you can put your email ID in a private chat to me, I will sure. include the material of both yesterday and today. Okay. So you can practice. There are materials you can read about, and then also YouTube um, guided commentaries, which okay. will jump start in your own practice of meditation. Okay. Yeah? Sure. Thank okay you. thank you very much for your help om shanti anybody else
Okay. So let us take a couple of minutes of silence and then reflect upon what we understood yesterday. Yeah. So sit comfortable, relaxed. Can everybody mute your audio, please? Or else I will mute everybody. Thank you. As you sit comfortable, disconnect from all the active thoughts that you have. Whatever has happened from morning, whatever the conversation that you had with others, whatever that is bothering you, consciously instruct your mind to disengage all of these active thoughts and bring your attention gently to the center of your forehead. While your eyes are open, see yourself as a point of light. Just like a light in a candle, a living energy, you're glowing. You are eternal. This body is perishable. Now visualize another light exactly similar to you. purest form of energy, supreme soul. By saying supreme soul, God, there is not that much connection or closeness. But when I start to believe but this energy is my eternal parent. Ocean of love, ocean of purity, ocean of happiness, ocean of bliss, almighty authority. I am the child and receiving the race as an inheritance. As a teacher, he is teaching me eternal study of spiritual knowledge. I was never born, I will never die. I'm eternal, 
so is my father, mother, eternal. Being in the presence of my parent, I am free from all worry, pain, suffering, because now I am in the canopy of my parent. I take this pride to be in the company. For others, he is God. For me, he is my parent, my beloved, my teacher, my guide. With this loving conversation, I come back to the awareness of this physical body. And I come back and sit on my throne, which is the center of this forehead. And I stay in this awareness by looking through this physical eyes. I've got a new recognition, new identity, a new life from now on. Thank you. So we got the understanding of the Supreme Soul and how different tradition look up and describe God. And we understood he is ever pure, the main source of energy, the purest form of energy. And I learned to forge relationship. We are all used to relationships, father, mother, husband, wife, friend. The more I learn this, Art of having relationship, then I will get to know and receive inheritance and power from the God, Supreme Soul. Today we will explore another new concept. This planet Earth is a physical world. There is sound, there is physical material, and in here it is changing constantly. Day breaks as the time passes by, noon, evening, night, It is time bound. Weeks go, weather pattern changes. It is a physical world. All actions are happening here. And we are all actors. In this physical world, 
the sun and moon they are like lights to this earth and we are playing this drama on this planet earth and we all have homes where we rest our body and that we call it is our home beyond this physical world there is another world called as an angelic world or a subtle world where there is no noise which is beyond and above the sun moon where people get or have visions from there when you get into more advanced meditation one will be able to explore more about that place but for now for our understanding we'll just leave it there and above that we going to another world called as shanti dam or land of peace which is a huge expanse of golden red color light there is no sound no physical things there there is no day night it is constant all the time that place is the home of all souls souls come from the land of peace all souls come adopt a physical body on planet earth play their part because soul is metaphysical it is not physical so the home of soul is soul world i will share that slide in this slide <clears throat> you can see here whatever i described now this is the planet earth and you will see all the sun star moon and other planets in this black background and above that you see the white band which i described as the subtle world where there is no action but just movement no sound and above that you see this huge expanse of golden red color light where there is no morning evening it is constant all the time and it it is in this place supreme soul also resides point of light it doesn't need any support souls just hang in there and souls come from here the planet earth and we get a body made out of five elements 
23 parts. With this understanding, it is easy then to have a communion with the Supreme because now I understood the soul and then I also understood the Supreme Soul. I also understood the location. Then it makes it easy to have meditation or remembrance using the faculty of mind intellect through which I gain wisdom and power and I start to perform actions that are pure thereby my recordings which had impurities starts to get replaced with pure actions soul starts to become peaceful this all happens when I have the connection with the Supreme that we all experimented. Connection with God, with love. Not with demands, not with force, but with love. One can connect with God when my qualities starts to become original. Presently, there are a lot of negative, impure energy in the soul. So through this remembrance, you gain power, wisdom, clarity, and my words, my actions starts to become pure based on this remembrance and the wisdom that I get through this remembrance. And soul will become peace, full, because peace is its original nature. Now, let us explore a little bit about meditation. Well, how do we do meditation? Right? We understood I am a soul and God, Supreme Soul is also a point of light. Meditation means remembrance. In remembrance, I use the power of my intellect and ask questions like, who am I? When I start to ask this question, based on our learnings, we get the images that I am a point of light. I am eternal. I was never born. I will never die. I am beyond time, space. So you start to have these kind of words in your mind. That means you are engaging your mind and intellect to have remembrance like this. And then where I come from? Now we learned that I come from this soul world, golden red color light, experiencing that location, that place, is absolute peace, silence there. I become still. And then what is my original state? My original nature is that of peace, is that of love. I'm a pure soul. 
and knowledgeful. I am powerful. I am truth. And then in meditation, I will have the relationship with God, my eternal parent. Knowing the concept is one thing and then using that for my own meditation benefit. When I start to ask these questions, you will notice that your mind and intellect gets engaged automatically. And you will start to feel light and you start to believe and your connection with yourself and the Supreme starts to become real. See in this image, the soul is here and the Supreme Soul point of light. And that's how we engage our mind and intellect to have this link. For now, next few minutes, let us experiment with the understanding of these three worlds and forge a link connection with the Supreme. As you sit comfortable, identifying yourself as a point of light. Using the screen of your mind, you fly high, the point of light. You go beyond the clouds, As you go higher, you pass through the moon, the sun, point of light traveling upwards. Nothing to be afraid of. and you enter into a space, a new dimension beyond the pull of this planet Earth, beyond the force of gravity, you the point of light in this huge expanse of golden red color light supremely peaceful at a distance I see another light exactly like myself I get closer to that light I come closer and closer. I start to receive the rays from my eternal parent. I 
the ocean of love. Ocean of peace. I see in the screen of my mind, I'm so stable. I am in my eternal home. Rays of peace are showering on me. I feel very secure. I feel very light. And I'm very happy because I am in the company of my eternal parent. It is a homecoming after a long time. I feel comforted. I am like a lost child. I've come back home. Just like how parents know their children very well. My eternal parent, my father, Shiv Baba, knows me very well. He knows all my needs. He knows all my problems. I have no fear, no worry, no concern of anything. I am in the company of the highest energy. Nobody can even imagine how I feel. It is that sacred connection that I have. Shiv Baba, you have changed me. You have made me belong to you. I love you. I experienced the rays coming on to me. I am totally disconnected from the physical world. In this company, I'm getting charged. Just like a loving parent, every single divine quality, every single power is being showered onto me. Unconditional love, 
unconditional support. My true eternal parent accepts me the way I am. Even though there are a lot of defects, weaknesses, impurities, the Supreme Shiva Baba has recognized me. And it is time for me to recognize him. and make him mine. What a beautiful awakening you have given me. While staying here, I look down on this planet. I see the rays, godly rays, passing it on to the entire planet Earth. Now I gently descend my journey back as I slowly come down point of light, leaving my eternal home. I pass through this subtle world, enter into these clouds, come towards the continent, the country, the city, the home that I live, and gently descend onto my throne in the center of my forehead. Energized, filled with godly power, godly love. I am an enlightened soul. And I come back to my consciousness of this body. Thank you. Was it easy to go on this journey? I can't hear anything. Was it difficult, easy? Easy. No. Easy, you helped through the whole thing, have you step-by-step step guided us through, um, out of this body, away from above the clouds and all. I, it was just beautiful the way it was done. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. It was easy at the beginning to me, but then I felt. Can I have your uh, video, please? I want to see the enlightened soul's face. <laughs> okay, let me see. Uh, it's a little bit dark here, but. Okay, I was saying that it was easy at the beginning, but then towards the middle, 
I think I felt something came to my mind and but I was able to go back and follow uh, the, what you were guiding us on. Okay, good. In fact, uh, something came up, you said, right? That is the next concept yes. I'm going to talk about and you'll get more clarity on that. Thank you for your sharing. Yeah, okay. anybody else? I was just listening and trying to follow, but I could not travel all the way there. For me, it was yeah, to be very honest. Good, thank you. That's how I felt initially. So I am in your company. No worries. Thank you. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah, I think uh, from my side, it was a similar experience. That I. To, I think the hard part was to stay with you because we have like so many other distractions, like they just keep popping up. Sure. Right? So yeah, I think that was, that was the noise. Yeah. But the journey was good. The descent was good. So uh, I think those were nice things, but I think I wish you, you could stay more. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. No worries. I mean, it's all, um, you know, initial stages. And um, just like we have to take the baby steps, you know, just like how you learn um, biking or swimming, you know, we are so afraid initially and then we don't know so many things come up. And uh, we, after some practice, you know, it becomes easy, okay? So just have some patience. Nothing is impossible. Yeah, everything will, once you have your, little attention, focus, and little disciplining, you will see wonders based on my experience I'm sharing. Yeah. Anybody else wants to pitch in, chime in? Or you are still in the soul world? I, I was thinking it's easier to do this if you're on a flight with nobody else in it and and uh, you're all alone on this flight at 50,000 feet. I think now is a good time, right? With COVID situation. It looks like he's up there. Like to... <laughs> yeah, that's why I put my background like that. Because... Yeah, it looks like you're up there already. <laughs> yeah, I, I think that, that'll make it easier, but it's so, so hard after the first five, 10 minutes. Hmm. So, which means a um, little bit of concentration um, would needs to be developed, right? Right. Okay. Any others? Not quite. Okay, any other questions um, anybody has on what we explored so far? Yeah, I think, I think you know, I, I was reading your material and, and kind of, when you, when you step back and think about it, it seems logical that the mind is giving you thoughts and then you act big based on your karmas and, and the impressions and the sanskars and it seems very easy but it's so hard to train the intellect right so it's it's situ situational in some situations you can step back and say oh okay that makes sense but to do it in every situation is i feel like i tried the last few days but i tend to go back to my you know what what is the recorded impression versus looking at it with open eyes? I mm. just want to be honest, right? Sure. Yeah. Good, at least, you know, for any new concept when we bring in, um, there is some resistance um, to accept it, both from the mind and intellect. And um, when you keep practicing at it, then it becomes easy. 
I mean, you see now, if you look back on the COVID situation, right? Like five, six months ago, everybody was scared. And we are now nobody wanted to step out of home. They thought, oh, I will get infected and then I may lose my body. And they were so scared. And the number of deaths were not that much. And as the days passed by, weeks went by, you know, slowly our mind and intellect got used to. And we started putting on the masks. And it was weird to look at somebody wearing a mask initially. And then looking at everybody, now we are in a situation where if somebody is not wearing a mask, there is something this is crazy going on. Why, did, why this person doesn't wear a mask? See how shift has happened. It right. is but practice, right? And now the number of deaths have increased and we got used to it. And you see the traffic everywhere, it is increased so much. So it is a question of how you train the mind more and more you get used to it. Same thing, same journey here also. It's nothing rocket science here. I will never become you know, soul conscious in one sitting or in by taking the course in one month, one day. It is a journey. Yeah. I think it's, a, it's, a, it's the other thing you taught us was this attachment thing, right? Mm. I think that is... Uh, and I see different demographics and different sort of age group here. And I feel like maybe 10 years from now, I'll be able to detach myself more than now. But so that's the, that's the other aspect that I have a hard time with is uh, I think the ego, the anger, those kind of things are easier. Uh, the attachment part is so hard for me uh, because you get so attached to your work or you said your role in your family and so I think uh, you go through a phase of life and say, when is the right time to actually detach, right? Yes. So I don't have the answer to that question. Yeah, probably we'll explore a little bit about the different stages of meditation and that will give you, you know, and you can position or see where you stand and how much of work you need to put in. And nothing happens magically. I need to work on if I want to accomplish something. You know, if I want to grow high in my corporate ladder, I need to make take responsibilities, work hard than the others so that I become competitively better than them and then I can excel. Same thing here. The more I put in effort, you know, it will be beneficial for me. Yeah, that's how it is. Now, let me go to... I, I had one question, if yeah. I may. Yeah, uh, sure. The question was uh, like you had mentioned about the how there is like this golden light where all the souls are. So my question is, what is the reason the soul needs a body? Like why does the soul? And how is the allocation of soul to the bodies? If you can hold this thought, <laughs> okay, <laughs> you we will cover this, um, you know, in the karma philosophy in the next. Uh, or the following concept. Okay. This, some of the things um, are the fundamentals. And once you get the fundamentals, then you're on, on the platform to have meditation and lead a spiritual lifestyle. And then as you grow, you know, you get into more advanced um, knowledge and then you will understand more. I just also start to practice it. As I mentioned yesterday, experience is the best teacher. If I don't experience, I talk and I ask so many questions, but until and unless I experience, it is hard to accept certain things. Yeah? Yeah. So I would uh, suggest to hold on and then you will get um, answers soon. Sure, I, I want to just share a quick feedback also. So yeah. um, yesterday and they, I tried to be like not on the camera and then I was easily distracted. Um, so I thought let's come back on the camera so that we gain like the full value of like this 90 minutes of time. I, you know, I just wanted to share that. Sure, sure. thank you.
Okay, in the meditation, um, I want to mention that the different stages that we go through, okay? Um, any newcomer who comes, you know, when I say that I am a point of light, I am peaceful, all of a sudden, oh, tomorrow I have to go to this meeting, I have to send out this email, what is there for dinner, all of these things keep coming. You know, I say, I instruct the mind, hey, I am a point of light, I am peaceful. The mind behaves in, in its own way, right? So I need to lovingly and in a very friendly way, I need to talk to my mind. I need to love my mind. Even when it misbehaves, I should, just like a small child, baby, you know, the baby doesn't know much and then you train the baby. So your mind is like a baby. And the more you take care of your own mind, not to punish, not to, hey, I told you to be peaceful and you're going elsewhere, that doesn't work. Because my original nature is that of peace and love, purity. With force, there will be always resistance. So I should, and it's a long journey if I use force or punish myself. I should be loving all the time. So the first step in meditation is detach from waste thinking. You know, there are a lot of um, thoughts come from our past. You know, so many people came in our lives. They did so many things which you might like some, you might not have liked some. And when you tell the mind to do something, it goes in some other direction, thinking too much of the past, thinking too much of the future, thinking of unwanted stuff you know, about what is going on in the country, about the administration, the environment, whatever it could be, right? Um, this is bound to happen initially, okay? And uh, I need to just kind of um, have some patience and every day, if I'm able to give five minutes or 10 minutes or even half an hour, this, the quality time may not be that quality initially, but as you practice that five minutes, what you do first day um, may not be that beneficial, but the same five minutes that you spend after a few days would be more beneficial than the first day. But consistency is essential. And if you do that, then we will see gradual progress and you will be able to detach from waste thinking, okay? And then the mind will gradually starts to listen to you, saying that I'm a point of light and, and you will see that the distraction, if it was like seven, eight threads initially, you will see that it will be like two, three threads going on. It becomes a lot more manageable than the earlier days. So, you can you know, gauge yourself how far you have progressed with these kind of distractions. When you sit for meditation, the more distractions you have means I am in the initial stage. And as this reduces, that means I'm making progress in my spirituality, right? And then gradually what happens is you will develop the power of concentration what we are trying to train the mind is to focus on a thought and then keep the concentration of it build. Okay, I will do this meditation experience after this um, slide and then you will get an idea what I mean by collecting or gathering this concentration power on one theme. Yeah? then you will be able to have a conversation. Then you will see whatever the thoughts you have in the mind, it is so well connected with the target. The target here is the supreme energy, the parent, eternal parent, and you're able to be engaged in that conversation. The screen of your mind, you will see no distraction. It is just a beautiful connection between two souls, okay? And then, 
the final stage will be you become exactly like a clone of the supreme energy like whatever the supreme energy is giving i will be in a position to help others i have gained so much of um, power exactly like a copy of the supreme with the energy with the power and then you are in a different level of spirituality okay so these are the different um, stages that one might go through and many times you know we can kind of be in the first stage and then jump into the third stage and then fall back to the first stage we can go back and forth on this but understanding how the flow is essential so that you know where you are and how we can improve on this okay now with this i would like to um have this how we build this concentration power um through this meditation practice for the next few minutes <clears throat> and then here the theme will be soul is a point of light and the original quality or the original nature of soul is of peace okay so with this being the thing you can have meditation on any of the quality that you feel is lacking in you okay with this approach what i am going to share now we can all go through on this journey and use your own creative mind and intellect to develop whatever the qualities that is lacking in you quality or power whatever it could be right so for this let us sit comfortable again and then maybe i think i can play some music all right as you sit comfortable i am a point of light i am separate from this physical body my original nature is of peace peace is who i am i'm radiating rays of peace the energy of peace is spreading all over the physical body this energy of peace is spreading outside of my body in the room that i live there is peaceful vibrations this peace is spreading in my entire home i see my mind very calm the number of thoughts are slowed down when i converse with my family members
peaceful words, peaceful vibrations are in exchange. I attract only peace. I see everybody peaceful. In one second, one thought, I go to my land of peace. I'm in front of my father, eternal father, ocean of peace. It is such a lovely feeling to be peaceful. I see absolute stillness. There is peace in me. There is peace surrounding me. I am an image of peace. I am a pillar of peace. I come back in one second into this body with a peaceful soul. I see there is peace in my eyes, peace on my face. Peace in everything I do. It is just like peace all over me. I am colored by peace. I am drenched in peace. Whoever comes in front of me experiences only peace. I am a peace messenger. I am giving peace to all the peace conferences that happen in the world. I am so powerful with the energy of peace.
with this peaceful awareness. I gently come back into my consciousness of this body. Thank you. See what we experimented was around peace. And when I'm feeding these peaceful words to the mind, my intellect processes that. Words what I give as peace, that's the theme. And that's when the power of concentration is building. And it becomes so strong enough. Literally, anybody who comes, sees you, they will feel that you are an image of peace. Same thing you can do for any of the quality that you feel you need to work on, any quality. Just training the mind, how to train the mind, talk to yourself. It can do wonders. Your whole life will change for the better. Any question on this, how to go through the different stages of meditation and reach the power of concentration. Because when you have power of concentration, whatever the weaknesses you have, you can destroy the weakness with the power of concentration. Is there more information about um, the, the power of concentration? Like, um, I know you explain a little bit that when we get distracted during our meditation, um, but is there something else uh, that you think we can, we could read or practice more? Yeah, I think um, there will there will be some reading materials. Um, maybe I will just check and see, you know, what reading materials are there. But you did get a you know, glimpse of, you know, how you bring in collective thoughts of the same theme, right? And then it strengthens automatically. Same thing with love, same thing with compassion. You, you name the divine quality or virtue that you want to work on. You can take a theme and then it will slowly build on that. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Anybody else? I have something. Um, a little while ago, Satish had mentioned about the souls, the collective souls that are out there. You know, how do you know? And I'm just thinking, we, we with our awareness, we are saying that we are the pure soul. I'm just disturbed thinking you know there's so many people not so people who um commit bad things like say murders or whatever stealing killing whatever what happens what is the status of those souls are they i mean they're not pure souls and that's why they commit or do acts of karmas which are, you know, sinful or not good, whatever. I mean, we say good or bad, we don't know who. We're no judge of saying what's good or bad, but what happens, what are those souls and what happens to them collectively? Like we say, we are getting out of this body and going towards the source, our father, but what happens to these souls? that have no awareness, no knowledge 
of who they are or what they are or where they come from or why they're here. Yeah. I know it's a little too much, but I mean, I'm just yeah. curious. You know, one of the golden things that I learned from the Brahma Kumaris, and I really like that even today, is there are a lot of things outside which I have no control over. Okay. But the knowledge that we get here is to change the self. It is very easy that you have these defects change. Very easy to tell others, but self-change, to become a self-powered king is not easy. So they, the words that were like self-transformation brings world transformation. These are the words that I heard. And it makes a lot of sense. I have so much of garbage, so much of negativity inside me. Let me fix that. Let me straighten my own self. And then I will be in a position to help others. Give them good wishes, give them support so that they can also rise above. Otherwise, I go into the mode of complaining, judging, analyzing, that is not helping anybody. But if I pay attention to my own thoughts, how I feel inside and what contribution I am doing, that is valuable, that is important. That's what I would say. I don't know whether you liked it or not. No, it, it, you explained it well. It's just all these thoughts that come through the mind because in a day-to-day -day life, you come across all sorts of things, good, bad, you know, right, wrong, everything. And as a human, we, I guess, are sort of, judges of we know what's right or wrong so we you know we avoid doing wrong and try to be like you said right and pure and uplift our souls so we can help other people but that's the journey that we are all going through and mm -hmm. I'm just I mean I'm glad that I am able to do this and being aware and getting knowledgeable but at the same token I feel there's so many people out there of course, self-realization, one person at a time. Mm. But there are people who have no way to know this. That's what I am, yeah. you know, addressing. Sure. I, uh, I appreciate your concern. And it will all happen. And the more I become more clean and pure inside, I will be in a better position to help others as well. Right. Yes. That's how I look at it. And... Um, okay. That 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 will be a better approach, I think. Okay. Good. Thank you. Sure. Now, I want to cover one more thing um, before we go into a few minutes of meditation before the close of today. Let me share my screen. <clears throat> One of the major benefit that we get <clears throat> through the practice of Raj Yoga meditation is eight powers. These eight powers are very essential in the world we live in. There is a lot of negativity, a um, lot of... Um, you know, intellectual um, thinking of blaming, criticizing, judging. <clears throat> In order to have a spiritual growth and progress, these powers are very essential. 
in our spiritual endeavor. Um, I don't know if you can see these pictures uh, that clearly. Um, there are like eight um, things here. Let me see if I can pull up something um, different than this. You know what? I don't. I don't find that anyway. Um, okay. So here, um, I'll move the cursor here, and then you will um, get to know what I mean to say. <clears throat> here is a tortoise, and um, it is known as the power to withdraw, meaning. You know, we get engaged in um, waste thinking or um, not waste thinking about, um, you know, dangerous situation when negative force is coming at us. Um, whether do I need to engage in the same force of negative or I kind of become quiet. So the power to withdraw from any negative engagement or conversation is a power. I need to be able to withdraw, recognize that, you know, it is not worth the dis discussion to have. And then I withdraw so that it helps my own spiritual growth. The second picture, what you see here is, um, you know, little um, suitcase kind of thing here, packing, which means you need to pack up all the waste thoughts. In order for our intellect to become more sharper, clear, I need to detach or disengage from wasteful thinking. You know, waste thinking, as I mentioned earlier, thinking of the past, thinking of the future. If somebody reminds of some past things, you know, my mind and intellect starts engaging in that scene and then you know how you feel about it, right? And this is also a power to stop not to go there not to go there. I do not want my mind and in, uh, intellect to engage in this waste thinking. That's a power, right? And then the third power is the power of tolerance. You know, we come across so many people who tell so many things to us. And then sometimes we may need to talk to them. And many times it is better to keep quiet, right? And if I'm engaging in any conversation and then it can go heated, it can become violent. So I need to be tolerant. I need to have this power of resistance not to engage in certain things which can lead to undue situations or circumstances. And then the fourth here you see accommodate, power to accommodate. You know, just like how a sea, um, there are many rivers that get into the sea and some rivers have water flow, um, which are dirty water, some are clean water, some have been polluted. Sea accepts all of this stream of water that is coming into it. Likewise, in our lives, we meet so many different people and learning the art to accommodate everyone or to accept everybody the way they are, giving them their space and to accept every thing around me also is a um, spiritual power. And then we have the other power called the power of discerning, you know, to discern from what is right, what is not, where there is uh, profit, where there is loss, um, which is good, which is bad. To, to discern that is a spiritual power to be developed. Okay. And then we have the power of judgment to make the right decision, right choice for our own benefit and for the benefit of others. 
is also a power. And sometimes we are given with so many choices and then making the right choice or making the right decision, judgment, judgment call um, is very important as well, which is a spiritual um, power. And then we have the power to face. In life, we have a lot of challenges. Um, you know, when there is a breakup in a relationship, it can bring us down. When there is a death in the family or a job loss or any something severe thing, you know, accident, I need to be in a position to face all of these things, not succumb to the situation. In other words, not the situation or individuals taking over me, but I am very stable and I have enough courage to face that situation, right? And then we have this um, power of cooperation. I give a you know, helping hand in helping others uplifting others for a good cause. And all of these things are spiritual powers that we develop through this meditation practice. Yeah. And our eternal parent, Shiv Baba, is the almighty authority. He has got all these powers. And the more I'm able to engage in conversation with the Supreme, all of these qualities will develop. It helps one in their spiritual journey. Yeah. And that's what I wanted to cover for the day. And um, we can... Uh, do a few minutes of meditation before I close for the day. As you sit comfortable, I got to learn how to communicate with the Supreme. We are in this physical world. There is another world about this. Angelic world. And above that, It's a land of peace, which is a home for souls and also for the Supreme. I come here, rest. I come here to charge myself, become filled with God's power, God's energy. It is my eternal parents energy and I have the birthright to this inheritance. I'm a direct child of the supreme source of the purest form of energy. As a child, I do understand the different stages that I go through in this journey of meditation. A lot of old negative thoughts do come, but I commit myself to make myself stronger like an appointment with the self to have meditation every day, early in the morning. If I can wake up at five, four o'clock, give half an hour 
my eternal parent is always there to help me and then these negative thoughts waste thoughts will slow down and i am in a position to charge myself with positive higher conscious elevated energy my power of concentration increases as i do that more i become exactly like my father my eternal parent shiv baba is here to help me give me the eight powers i am not praying for these powers as a birthright as an inheritance i claim as a right from my eternal parent tolerance patience power to face power to judge power to discern power to face no matter what world may shake unseen things may happen but internally i am very stable and in the company of the supreme i may be shaking a little bit but i will never drown supreme soul fills me with the positive energy through the form of thoughts it's a beautiful journey to embark to regain my original qualities of peace love purity bliss and power i am blessed Thank you, Om Shanti.